My name's Kiana and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, so it is the night before the day I'm supposed to get induced. And I'm supposed to call the hospital at like 5.30 in the morning and check in with them so that they can call me whenever my room is ready, which could either be like early in the day or at nighttime. We don't know what time it's going to be. We are going to go ahead and start, you know, having everything prepared and ready. So that when they do call, no matter what time it is, we are ready to go. So tomorrow I will be 41 weeks pregnant. Yes, I am a week overdue. Last appointment, which was on Thursday, I was not dilated at all. Nor was my cervix softened. Like it was still hard. So baby girl is in here chilling, not ready to get out. So <laughs> I could do her. Uh. <laughs> Yo, I'm so tired. Like. I'm going to quit talking now and cut off the camera because I do have quite a few things to do tonight. So, yeah. I look a mess but um it's like eight in the morning right now and i had a feeling that this is how this is all gonna happen so i could just picture myself laying in bed sleep and my mom coming in my room and telling me it's time to get up because i have to go to the hospital and surely enough that is what happened like <laughs> so this is all happening a lot sooner than i expected it to my last time y'all it's my last time recording my belly in this mirror while pregnant oh my gosh. <laughs> okay y'all so it is 9 o'clock, and I'm supposed to be at the hospital at 9.30. I have a feeling I'm going to be late because I still have to eat breakfast. The hospital wants me to eat breakfast before I come. Um, and I want to eat breakfast, too, because I'm going to be induced for days without being able to eat. <sighs> but I'm telling y'all, like, my nerves are not going to let me eat. But... We're dropping my brother off right now because my grandma's watching him. Y'all, I feel so bad right now. Like I was, we were we're rushing right now because my mom did not listen to me when I said to pack before the day comes. She packed. She, I wake up to her packing and like walk, running around the house getting her bags packed and get my brother's stuff ready. Like my boyfriend just texted me like saying that. Um, he wanted to come see me and give me a hug before I left. And I'm already gone. <laughs> like, I feel so bad right now. Yeah. 
Pee in it. Just pee. <laughs> okay. I'm updating YouTube, so you see me talking to a camera. Don't question me. <laughs> okay, we've been here for two hours, and they just put like a pill in me that's supposed to make my cervix get soft and start some contractions. That's all that's happened so far. I'm not on anything else. I'm not on any other medication. Medi <laughs> I'm not on any other medications. I just have um, saline fluid being pumped into me through my IV. I'm not on Pitocin or anything yet, so. with updates again one of the ladies that's going to be delivering my baby came and spoke to me and she said that um well for one this whole time i've been having contractions and i didn't feel them but um i have been having contractions so we are actually getting somewhere <laughs> she said that after the pill we're going to take a break from my induction and i'm going to eat since i'm going to be going without eating for quite a long time um i'm not on the pitocin or anything yet so i'm free to take a break if i need to before they put me on the pitocin i think that's all she said so yeah We're doing good. I think I might be feeling my contractions now because mm, I don't know. I think I'm feeling my contractions now because that was uncalled for what I just felt. <laughs> okay. So um this is probably the biggest update that I've done in this whole video. But um so they told me that so now that the pill is over pill that they put in me in it like an hour or two ago but um they brought me some food so that I can eat one last time before they put me on my Pitocin which when I'm on Pitocin I cannot eat or have any solids whatsoever so they wanted to give me one meal before all that starts happening I'm having contractions every two minutes and I'm only dilated two centimeters so, yeah. And I'm starting to feel my contractions now. They're not, like, crazy bad. <laughs> I'm fine, for the most part. I feel them, but they're not bizarre or anything. Like, I can, I can handle it for now. It is currently 5.30, so we've been here for seven hours, about seven hours. It's gone now. Coming back. <laughs> oh, why you got a camera in my face? <laughs> I wanna up oh no, you bent it again. <laughs> oh my god okay i'm trying to update youtube but my whole upper body is shivering <laughs> like i'm cold but i don't know if i'm really cold okay so uh, what woman <laughs> i just got the epidural like i don't know an hour ago y'all my hands are shaking <laughs> My contractions were so bad, so I 
we decided that I was going to get the epidural, and I'm still only two centimeters dilated, and it is like nine o'clock at night, but I cannot feel anything below my stomach. I don't know if my legs are straight. I cannot feel my ankle, and that's like, I really want to feel my ankle. I can't. Can you, can you push my ankle back one more time? I can move this one, but I can't move that one. She can't move my one. I can't take this. No, push it. What do you want me to do with it? Keep pushing it. Just don't let go. You think your ankle's falling off your leg? <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> I just want to be able to move it for myself. This my girl thinks her legs is falling off her leg. epidural okay i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all the epidural did not hurt um when they first like put the needle in with the numbing stuff it burns at first for like 10 seconds and that's like the only like a real pain you actually feel the rest is just like uncomfortable pressure which i'm so sorry y'all my hands are shaking so much because i'm like freezing cold and they're pumping these cold fluids in me you just kind of gotta like really stay calm and like keep in your mind that this is gonna help you it's really dark so y'all probably can't see me but youtube video <laughs> it is it's 2 a.m and they just checked me and said that i'm five centimeters dilated and told me that i need to go to sleep because i need to get some sleep before like i wake up and i have to start pushing and stuff so together So, um, I had the baby. It is 8, like, 50, I think. And I had the baby at 7.46. I was pushing for a good minute. But she was still in her sack. She was, the baby was still in the sack because my water hadn't broke yet. But I was still pushing while she was still in her sack. And I was pushing with her in the sack for, like, an hour or two. And... Then we popped the sack, broke my water, and I pushed for 16 minutes, and baby girl was here. Um, I can't show her y'all right now because she isn't here. She's having trouble keeping her oxygen levels up, so they took her up to monitor her for a little while before they gave her back to me. I'm not worried about it because they didn't seem worried about it, but yeah, so I mean... <laughs> I am going to show you guys the baby and stuff, but that's pretty much it for this labor and delivery vlog. I'm so sorry that I was not able to record as I was pushing, and to be honest, that was the last thing that was on my mind. Even if I could, I probably wouldn't. I was miserable. It was miserable. It was bad, y'all. <laughs> I don't mean to scare any moms out there, but y'all got to hear my story because I was... 10 centimeters dilated two hours for two hours just sitting there because you know what i'm not even gonna explain it. if you want to know why i was sitting in bed two centimeters dilated because the doctors made me watch my story time video i'll be doing that very soon because a lot of stuff happened that made me mad and upset and made everything like what i t it made everything 10 times worse in my opinion could have went a lot smoother but they had to make some choices to avoid you know different stuff and i was scared <laughs> i won't even lie i was pretty scared 
Um, but yeah, I am gonna do a story time on this because there is a lot for me to tell y'all. But overall, like pushing the baby out, once the baby started coming out, it was not hard at all. I mean, it was a lot of pressure, it was uncomfortable, but it didn't hurt. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the baby and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> really? You are annoying. <laughs> Are you really recording a video right now as I say? As I say that I need to finish my vlog. You gonna pull the camera out. Okay y'all, so. Here's baby girl. She's asleep. Um, she just started crying because I think she likes being held while she's asleep. Um, <laughs> a lot of people say like not to hold your baby so much while they sleep and stuff because you can spoil them, whatever. But, like it's kind of hard not to. <laughs> but um. I will definitely do a story time about my labor and delivery process and how it went. I do have some things that I want to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. That will most likely be one of my next videos. If not, if it's not the next one, it'll be the one after that. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see more. Of me and baby Summer. <laughs> then follow us on Instagram. And subscribe for more. Hit the lights, you know it's money everywhere. Part in my pockets, I had to drop it cause you dead.